I think I first knew that I wanted to be an aerospace engineer once I found out what engineers did. In high school, uh, I learned about uh, engineers. Uh, they use their math and science skills to create things, and I thought that was something I definitely wanted to do. Test pilots have to be both engineers and pilots. For engineering, I went to the University of Minnesota uh, and received a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering and mechanics. I followed that up with a master's degree from the University of Washington uh, in aeronautics. From the pilot side, I started out uh, flying general aviation aircraft, uh, learned to be a commercial pilot and a, a certified flight instructor, and worked as a certified flight instructor for a number of years uh, to gain the hours and experience needed uh, to get an air transport pilot certificate. I did work on my uh, engineering education and work as an engineer simultaneously uh, as I worked as a flight instructor. So uh, sometimes I'll jokingly say it's evenings, holidays, and weekends. It's a lot of time that's committed to um, uh, achieving your goals. Engineers in general are problem solvers and uh, advanced degrees in engineering basically teach a lot of different skills to attack different types of problems. In addition, working as a flight instructor, you are in a very small aircraft most times, uh, working uh, with uh, a variety of people, and that skill, uh, those interpersonal skills, can help uh, work uh, with the various people we interact with here at Boeing. If you're in high school and you're looking at uh, becoming a test pilot for Boeing, there's a number of things that you've uh, got to do. Uh, one is ensure that you're definitely pursuing all of the elective courses you have in math and science in high school. A lot of times you have to be self-motivated to um, pursue and uh, perform well in those courses in order to start your college um, efforts uh, in engineering and be able to complete those in a reasonable amount of uh, time. In addition for the piloting side of things, uh, you'll probably want to start out uh, working towards a private pilot certificate or an instrument rating or doing some type of general aviation flying to make sure that that's also something that you would want to continue pursuing. One of my main challenges was uh, the time management uh, and the patience. Uh, sometimes uh, you have in your mind an expectation or a timeline of how things will occur uh, and sometimes it will take longer. Uh, so not being frustrated, uh, focusing on your goal, uh, and uh, continuing your progress towards the goal uh, is essential. There's a lot of parts of the job that are interesting. I think the one that most people can relate to, uh, especially if they're not in aviation. It can be uh, rainy and cloudy here a lot in Seattle, uh, but I always describe that the sun always shines here, you just have to be high enough to, to see it. So we get to climb up uh, above the clouds, go to the 41,000 feet service ceiling of the uh, 737, uh, and we get to uh, see the sun while we're doing our job. 